All right, guys, so this next one on a video, we're going to be talking about controllers, how to map Ableton Live to controllers. So that means you can access your songs by not having to go over to the computer, not even touching the computer. You can just access songs by keyboard controllers or uh, foot switch controllers like the one I have on the floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to map those to either map it per song or you can actually just have like on a foot pedal, you can have up and down bank and then one to press play on. So uh, like this is a, a Line 6 FLV, I'm sorry, FBV. And the reason I, I got this one is because I use it and that's what I play live is Line 6 and it's also USB. So it's actually a MIDI controller but it goes right in your USB. So I can actually just plug the USB in here, plug it in my computer and then I don't got to get any MIDI cables. These FLVs, um, you can use any MIDI controller, any MIDI, any foot switch MIDI controller will work. Uh, MIDI controller. Um, I, I have this one because I use Line 6 uh, for Guitar Live and, um, and it's USB and MIDI. Uh, but you know these things, these, these actually work pretty good. But they work pretty good and you can get them used off of you know eBay for you know fifty to a hundred dollars for these four. You can actually get a longer one too that's USB. Uh, you want to get the USB one. Uh, it'd be the it'd be the Mark II, and it would be uh, you know, and I think it gives you like eight different switches on it. So that's something to look into. This first video is going to be focused on foot pedal controllers. Um, I have a lot of people asking, you know, I want to be able to control my foot. You know, I don't want to have a keyboard by me, blah blah blah, and this is a lot easier. So the first video we're going to we're going to concentrate on foot pedal controllers. Second video we're going to go, move over to keyboard controllers, but they're all set up the exact same way. Uh, one thing about the foot pedal controllers is most unlikely when you get if you're going off of a guitar pedal foot pedal controller or you're going off of something else, they're going to have a piece of software for the control the foot pedal controller, and you have to go and set that up first. Like here's the Line 6 software, and um, you can download it off their website. It's uh, just look up if you got this one, you would look up Line 6 FPV controller download, and it'll take you to the link. You have to make a Line 6 account, and then download it. I believe I still have the page open. Yeah, so like right here, you know, download it right here, and it looks like this. And so. When you get this, what you'll want to do is you make sure that these settings right here, and you plug it in, that this is set on, uh, and this is probably the same with probably most of your foot pedal controllers. You're going to have to open a piece of software like this because it'll do different functions, and you're going to want to tell it you want to take MIDI controls, so uh, MIDI CC, MIDI command control, on each uh, pedal. So I have four buttons. And each of those, I have this set to MIDI CC. So your software is probably going to set up different, but that's what you want to do. And then when you come over here on this one, at least, uh, you have different functions like single trigger and uh, um, single trigger and momentary. Like a single, if I have it on single, if I press it and take my finger or take my foot off it, then it's going to stop doing whatever function it is. So um, I want momentary. So when I press it, it just keeps that going. Um, you know, you just kind of play with your software and see what they call it. You know, one of these one of these modes is going to be you have to hold the button down the whole time for it to maybe play a song. When you take your foot off it, it's going to stop playing that song. So for line six, of course, uh, uh, it's momentary, and that if I press it, it'll keep playing the song. If I go up and down, it'll go up and down without. Uh, Keep going, but yeah, that's just something you have to play with when you get the controller what they call it uh, line six They call it momentary um, and then you want to go over to your trigger uh, Your CC channel basically your uh, the, what the command channel is going to be I have mine set up on 64 65 66 and 67 that's just basically telling them okay this one is when I map it is going to be on MIDI note number 64. This one's going to be on 65. This one's going to be on 66. And this one's going to be on 67. And I really don't care because I'm not actually going to need that number after I get this part done. But then the value you want it to be, you know, the top, which on line six is 127. And uh, and then your other trigger two, you want that to be the same. CC note is over here. So this one's 64, we want that to be 64, 65, 65, 66, 66, 67, 67, and so on. Depending on how many pedal boards you got. And these numbers, if you don't have a bunch of MIDI controllers going on, uh, you know, it's not really going to matter. You can see I'm on MIDI channel one with this. If I did have multiple MIDI uh, controllers on, then I would like move that keyboard controller to MIDI channel two. Uh, but 
I only have one MIDI controller going on, so I'm only going to stick to channel one. All right, so that's all set up. Now you never even have to look at that again. You're good to go. So now, after you get your foot pedal board set up in the software that comes with your foot pedal board, assuming there is software, some of them might not have software, is you want to set up your controller in Ableton. So you want to go to Ableton and then Preferences. Now I know in Windows it's not Ableton and Preferences, it's something else, but you'll have to just go to your Preferences in Windows. <laughs> and uh, But on a Mac you just go to Ableton, Preferences, and then over here, you know, I don't know what tab this will be on, but basically you want to click on MIDI Sync. And odds are you're going to come up with something that looks a lot like all these will be turned off. You know, uh, these are different controllers I've had hooked up. So you probably won't have this many. But what you're going to look for is you're going to look for the, the FBV if you're using this pedal board. If you're using another pedal board, you want to look for that. And the thing that you want to make sure is on, so right here I have FBV. I want to make sure that that is, uh, that these two right here, you have track, that that's on, and you want to have remote, and that that's on. And then up here, and it doesn't matter, you can pull any one of these you want that's, that's empty, just pull it down and select your FPV or your pedal board. And there you go. But main, your main thing is right here, you want to make sure the input is on, and uh, the remote is on, and right here also uh, FPV input, that's the output, you want the input. You want that to be on, and you want that to be on. And so the easiest thing to do is just go in here and turn everything on, and that way you'll make sure that anything you plug in is working right off the bat. But make sure when you go back, you plug something new in, you go back and make sure it's all on. But there you go, and now let's get on to mapping. So what we want them to do is we want them to move up and down. Basically, if you take your arrow key on your keyboard, if I'm going the up and down arrow key, uh, that's up and this is down. This will work and that's what we want to do by this MIDI foot, foot controller Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to go up to on top of Ableton and click on this little MIDI and That's going to turn on your MIDI mapping So we're going to turn that on everything turns blue and you're going to see a couple new icons that show up right down here Under your song list and you'll see up and down and you see play and that is for setting up your up and down play with a controller um, So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the down arrow and I'm going to go over to my FALB and I'm going to hit A for that because it's down or at least that's what I want it to be is down. So I'm going to click A. As soon as I do that, you're going to see that, that just turned to 4, number 4 there. And why it turned 4, I have no idea, but you know, I think it's probably 64. Um, and then I'm going to go over here to the up and I'm going to click on that and I want this one to be up. So I'm going to click on that. That just turned to 6. So I must have that set on 6. And I want this little play button right here. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to have that be my little B button. That'll be my play button, all right? And then just for shits and giggles, I'm going to make D stop. So I'm going to go all the way up here, and I'm going to click on stop, and I'm going to click D. All right? So there, we've all mapped everything we need to do. I'm going to cancel out of that, and now if I go I click the C button on my foot, I'm going up. If I click the A button, I'm going down. If I click the B button, I'm on crazy in love, I'm going to click B button. It's going to start playing that, and it's going to jump to the next song, but it's not playing the next song. But if I had to click on here to click, but here comes crazy in love. All right. Now I hit D and stop it. I hit D and stop it. Now, let's see what's nice about this. If I hit play, the way I have this set up, I can hit play, and it automatically jumps to the next song. So even though it's playing this song, it jumps to the next song for me. So what's nice is I can just keep going down that line, that set, boom, and I don't have to hit up or down. I can just be like, all right, cool, it's playing, click's going, song is going to start. And then I can go to the next song, boom, it's playing the next song. And it moved to the next song for me. So here's can't feel, can't stop the feeling. You know what I mean? So it just keeps going like that. So now I have my controller set up. Stop it. Okay, we're gonna start the we're gonna start the next set again. So I'm gonna go up here to the top. Hit 24K magic. I'm gonna turn on my uh, click just so you can hear it. Um, I don't have it routed to my headphones. I just have it right off the mains. So as soon as I hit it, you hear the click. So all right, so we're going to start that by hitting the, the channel one, that B that I mapped to play. And it jumped to the next song, ready to go. 
It's not going to play that until I hit the B again. But there's 24K magic, ready to go. Okay, we're done with that song. The song is stopped. And see, it don't start playing the next song now until I hit the B again. And then it'll jump to the next song after that. So that next song's ready to go. I'm just going to be going, okay, two, three, the next song. Four. And boom, here's the next song. Intro, two, two, three, four. Yeah. The next song. Intro, two, three, four. And when it gets to the end of the song, it's just going to stop. It won't keep playing. It'll just stop and it just, but because you hit this switch and, it's, and, and when I mapped it, I mapped the play button here. Whoops, so we can delete that. I mapped the play button here, which automatically makes it jump to the next song. If I was to map that play button up here, it would just play that song and you have to go over here and manually hit the next button. But if I map it here, it goes to the next song. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to map that again, So because I took it off there. There you go, mapped, and then I unmap. That's all you got to do to map. You just click map, map what you want. You can see these are already mapped, four, six, five, and seven. And I unmap, and now I'm ready to go. I can go up and down. And if I click play, it plays that song that I'm highlighted and jumps the next song all ready for me to hit play again when that song ends. Intro, breakdown, three, four. Verse two, three, four. Stop that, and now I'm kicked by the ocean. Intro, two, three, four. Okay, there you go. There's how to map a foot switch. Um, and so the only thing you gotta remember is when you get your foot switch, no matter what it is, you gotta see if there's a piece of software you gotta get to open up to um, set up MIDI notes. On controllers, you won't need to do that. They're already mapped, pretty much. And, um, and you're good to go. So our next video will be on doing the exact same thing, but with MIDI controllers. And we'll actually do individual songs as well. So, see you in the next video.